In this tutorial, you'll learn how to utilize the various functions of the transparency tool to create unique effects in your designs. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll find a written copy of this tutorial along with a sample design file, so you can try the steps yourself. To get started, we'll select the transparency tool, which appears as a black and white checkerboard at the bottom of your toolbar. When you select it, your properties bar at the top of the screen will change to show six transparency types. Depending on which transparency type you choose to use, the properties bar will display different adjustment options. All transparency types include a drop-down menu for merge modes, which specify how the color of the transparency blends with the color of the underlying object, and a transparency picker, which allows you to choose from a number of preset transparencies. We'll first take a look at uniform transparency which allows you to adjust the opacity of an object evenly across that object. So first, we'll select our object and click the Uniform Transparency box. A slider will appear next to your object, which allows you to adjust the transparency level. You can always use the Opacity Spin box in the Properties bar as well. To view the before and after of the effect, toggle it on and off by clicking between the No Transparency box and the Uniform Transparency box. You can also use Uniform Transparency to apply a color cast to an image. So we'll select our image here, and then holding the Shift key, we'll double-click the Rectangle tool to create a rectangle the same size as our image. Then we just select a color from our color palette that we'd like to cast over the image. With the rectangle still selected, we'll select the Transparency tool and click the Uniform Transparency box. Then we can adjust the Transparency slider to achieve the amount of color cast we want. Next, we'll look at Fountain Transparency. Fountain Transparency allows you to apply a gradient of varying opacity to an object. One common application of this effect is to create the illusion of light reflecting off an object. Select your object and activate the Transparency tool. Then, you can first select Fountain Transparency from the Properties bar, or as a shortcut, simply click and drag inside your shape in the direction you want the gradient to go. Holding Shift while you do this, will cause your transparency to snap to right angles. Click and drag the slider here to adjust your gradient distribution, and adjust your edges by clicking and dragging the black and white square handles. To adjust the angle of your gradient, click and drag the white circular handle. You can do the same thing with objects of different shapes by using non-linear fountain transparencies. So take the shape of a light bulb, for example. Reflected light would probably take the shape of an ellipse, so we'll start by creating a white ellipse on top of our light bulb here. Then with the ellipse selected, we'll activate Fountain Transparency. By default, we'll see a normal linear gradient, so we'll go into the Properties bar and click this elliptical box here. Again, we'll use the handles to adjust our transparency until it fades softly into the edges. Now we'll jump back to our photograph to take a look at how to use the Transparency Picker. The Transparency Picker drop-down menu offers a whole library of preset fills in various patterns to help you quickly create impressive transparency effects. So let's use Fountain Transparency this time to create a new color cast on top of our image. Then, we'll use the Transparency Picker to experiment with different effects to see how they affect our transparency. You can drag the handles on these presets to adjust the effects, just like on any other transparencies. Next, we'll take a look at Merge Modes. Merge modes change the way your transparency blends with underlying objects and images. So let's try a few different merge modes here, and we'll see that they can actually affect how our transparency shows up quite a bit. Now we'll take a look at the different ways we can apply pattern transparencies. The vector, bitmap, two color, and texture transparency modes offer a library of scalable patterns that you can apply to objects as transparencies. Applying each of these modes works exactly the same. So with our background selected here, we'll choose Transparency from the toolbar, and select either Vector, Bitmap, Two Color, or Texture mode. Next, use the Transparency Picker dropdown to find and select the pattern you'd like to use. Again, you can adjust the scale, angle, opacity, etc. using the handles and sliders, just like any other transparency mode. You can always find more vector and bitmap patterns free to download from the Corel Draw welcome screen under Get More. Finally, we'll take a look at copy and pasting transparencies. 
so say you've created a transparency effect that you really like on one object in your design. If you want to apply that transparency to another object, rather than recreating it from scratch, just select the object you'd like to apply it to, click the Apply Transparency button in the Properties bar, and then click on the object that has the transparency you'd like to copy. And that's it! You now know the basics of CorelDRAW's powerful transparency tools. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll find a written copy of this tutorial, along with a sample design file, so you can try the steps yourself. Music